This is the time we auditioned for BGT. You wanna know more about it? Let's go for the video. In the round of wine, I still can't find another fact that can have some shine. Except the pets. Hey there, Just Paris here. I'm sorry I've been filming this video three times already because of the wind. Hopefully this time is good. And if it's not good, I don't care. I would still put it on the video. Wind or not. So three weeks ago, I would say I had an, e an email saying I would do an audition in front of the production of Britain's Got Talent. My talent being rap. Didn't believe it, but it was true. So I'm going to London to do an audition for Britain's Got Talent. So I have to wake up at four, uh, take a flight at seven something, 7.15 I think. Friday, I would just like chill a little bit. I will eat, I will like, you know, just take care of myself, work on the performance. Saturday, do the performance, do the audition. Uh, and Sunday, enjoy London a little bit and go back home. It's all fun and games, like, you know, win or lose, I just know that it, the experience is gonna be amazing. And I really don't care if I don't get through. You know, I don't care. I've been waiting for this moment for like 10 years because I've always tried to be on, you know, a talent show or, you know, The Voice or anything. I always like send videos and I've been doing this since I'm like 12 years old and I'm 22 now. So it's been years and years and years of like trying. So like just like, you know, doing the audition in front of the production team is just amazing. And if I don't get through, I don't care because like still it's going to be so cool. So I am in Dublin now. Uh, what? London. I fucking love this city. It's amazing. Uh, so I'm going to go to my hotel. I'm not able to check in until 3. And it's currently 10.30. So I hope I can put my luggage somewhere. Then we'll just go around the city. Enjoy the city a little bit. Get some lunch. Get some food. And then check, uh, check in. So yeah. So see you later. Okay you guys. So now I'm in the hotel. It was the worst day ever. Everything went wrong today, but it's okay. I went. I got through it. Never give up. That's the most important thing. So I didn't get. I didn't give up. Uh, so I washed my wig. I got my clothes together for tomorrow. Um, the outfit actually together. Um, and yeah. So now I think I'm just going to go to sleep because I'm like so fucking tired. Because uh, anyway, I have to wake up at seven. I mean, I want to wake up at seven because like the auditions at ten, but I want to have the time to like get ready and go to the audition because I'm 40 minutes away from the Excel. It's the Excel Stadium or something. Um, it's going to be a very long day. Uh, I have to put the music on my phone for like the audition. So I will need to, to keep my battery. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'll go to sleep. I should look at the camera because I'm looking at the screen like this. But it looks like I'm like lost. Actually, it's here anyway. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to sleep and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, you guys, so I'm ready for the audition. They told us to get ready before it because there's no way to get dressed. So I got dressed and all these clothes. Uh, makeup is done, everything's done. So I'm going to our sport now. Uh, I'm going to go Piccadilly Circus, or Piccadilly Line, and then the Northern Line to go to the XL London. Um, pretty scared I have to say I'm not going to lie but at the same time it's just going to be so good it's going to be a humbling moment and I don't care if I don't succeed all I care about is that I do this audition good I have sneakers on but because I'm not going to wear my heels right now you know uh, so right now I'm all cute uh, very scared but it's going to be cool I just hope I will not have any problems during the transportation to the XL London but anyway see you later Mwah. Okay, okay, I'm scared. I'm, oh my god, it's right here. Okay, I'm scared. Whew. Hopefully the day's not gonna be too long because I know it's gonna be long, but instead I'm scared. They told me to give up and to give up everything. The I am additionally first by the Britain's Got Talent. Karma's a bitch. I'm having my head now. Oh my 
my fucking god. Am I really here? Okay, you guys, this fucking crazy. I'm doing the second step of the audition. I never expected I'm doing that, but to be honest. So it's gonna be dope. I'm next up, so I'll see you later. Okay, so now I'm in the subway. So we are Sunday. I'm done with the audition. I'm done with my London trip. So what we're gonna do now is that I'm going to tap on a camera and the next video will be taken either I got through and I'm doing the tapings or if I'm just home without the taping so let's see that <laughs> yes uh, I didn't get through but it's okay as you've seen on the video I've arrived at the X in London I met someone very nice so her name is Charlotte I will put her Instagram somewhere uh, she's a singer too and she was so nice. Uh, I really loved her outfit, I remember. And she was so nice. She was just my girl for the, like, the morning. Because after, like, you know, she did her audition before me. Uh, because I think they forgot about me at one point. And I was like, hey, so do I have my audition? Because all the group that I was with, they all auditioned. It's like, oh, shit. Uh, well, uh, I mean, go for it. I mean, like, you know, like, they forgot about me. <laughs> It's fine. They just like remembered me from being the guy with the red hair and the heels and the bitchy outfit. But it's fine. Um, so after that, I went to another room with my heels. So my feet were hurting me. And it was, uh, yeah, it was just a room to make us wait. And it was all singers. So at one point, we were waiting to all audition. And I was seeing such amazing and talented people that I was like you know I'm not going to make it it's fine if I'm not going to make it I at least have to have fun you know because we were like I don't know 30 people and it was like so long and it was very long it was such a long day but at one point I was like you know what fuck it I'm just going to have fun and that's what I did I had fun and then when I did my audition they were like, you are on for the second audition. I was like, oh, really? Like, when is it? Oh, right now, actually. You are going to do it now. It's like, oh, okay. And I was waiting in the room for, I think, another 30 minutes. Um, and by the way, I met some amazing people. I met a girl from the USA, and she was talking about how she got surgeries and stuff. Um, I met also, like, a teenage girl. She was, like, very stressed out. And I was like, yeah, you know what, just... Keep calm, have fun, be confident, but don't be cocky. And when I was waiting in the other room, I met a family, and it was the little girl doing the audition, and they were so nice to me. And uh, they stole my heart. Oh, and I also met another girl. And she was with her mom, and her mom didn't believe that I was, a ra uh, like, rapping. She was like, no, you're not rapping. Like, rappers are supposed to be mainly you're not Eminem and like her daughter she was so embarrassed and I was just like yeah it's fine like she's entitled to her opinion there's like nothing you know nothing can hurt me anyway like it's okay after that what happened is that I went to another room and it was three guys from the production and a camera and I was doing the same audition so that means oh by the way I didn't say that before so the first audition it was just basically like me introducing myself um and do my rap and the same thing happened but with a camera and I just introduced myself so hi I'm Jazz Perry I'm a rapper wrestler and dancer and I'm doing this and this and that um and then I did my rap and then they were like okay so you'll be contacted in February if you make it through and if you aren't contacted that means that you didn't make the cut and we are in March so I didn't make the cut but it's totally fine you know what I it's not that I don't care but at one point it's like it, I had such an amazing experience that I don't really mind the fact that I didn't make it you know what I'm saying it was the first time that somebody gave me importance you know and just that, it was something so big to me that the goal wasn't to make it in the show. The goal was just to have fun and to sh like show them what I can do and just, 
you know, bring joy to people because I remember just being so friendly to everyone and, you know, being like, oh my God, shit, my heels, they're hurting and shit. And you know what, just having fun, you know, it's fun. But yeah, if I can say something to anyone out here, don't be scared. If you are doing auditions like this, don't be scared. Be yourself. At the end of the day, these people, what they are looking for are talented people, but also for people that can hold their own, you know? If they're really looking for people that are nice, but they are confident. And he can be amazing on the show. That's like the feeling that, you know, you want them to have. So, you know, when you came in the, when you come in the room and, I don't know, there was like three people, all three of them, you look them in the eyes and you talk to them, looking them in the eyes, uh, first of all. And second of all, you're just like, you know, yeah, so... You know, this and this and that. You kind of talk to them like they're your friends. But of course, like, they're, like they're not. Like, they're professionals. Um, but you can just definitely let loose. Because when it's time... When it's TV shows, they're definitely looking for people with a personality. So you have to show them who you are. You know, who you are with your friends and your family. You have to keep that... You have to keep the same energy when you are in front of people from the industry. And I'm talking about... Uh, you know, the entertainment industry, because in entertainment, what you have to do is entertain, you know, you just have to let loose and you have to make the people love you or hate you, you know, um, but here you want them to love you and you want them to see you as a money maker. And thanks again for watching this video. And remember that if you don't like me, suck my <laughs> <laughs> Bye bye.